How do we master the vibration of abundance so that we just become abundance and attract everything we want in our lives? We're going to talk about this today. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back, guys. We've got a great lesson tonight, an important lesson. So how do we master inner abundance? Because really, everything else, any other way of trying to be abundant, trying to capture the vibration of abundance, trying to do affirmations, doing scripting, writing things down, making a list of things you're, you're thankful for, all those are okay. Those are good. But what if, we, what if we just walked in the vibration of abundance? What if we just were abundance? That's really the, the highest level uh, that you can be. It's really mastering the law of being. So we can, we, can, we can just be abundance. Abundance includes everything. It's abundant of everything. It's an abundance of the things we want, and it's an abundance of the things we don't want. This is how you own it. Once you own it, then anything you want is going gonna, is gonna to come to you. Because this is the idea, guys. It's about owning your inner life. So much of our days are preoccupied with owning other things. Owning a promotion, owning uh, more money, owning more love. We want to own these things. We want to have these things, right? To have is to own. So we want to own a car. We want to own f um, uh, affection. We want to own recognition. This is what we want to have in our life. So we spend these days of, of what, in, this, in this sort of need. Even if it's not, an, even if it's not a, a blatant, needy sort of vibration, it's underneath that. How do, we, how do we get beyond that? So we just walk like the masters walked. And guys, the, how you do that is you own your inner life. That's the life you want to own. Once you own that, once you own inside that law of being, that, 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 that I am, then you own the world. You have everything that you'll ever need, right? All that other stuff is just going to be, is, is just going to come. And then, and then you just choose what you want. Choose to have things and choose don't. And then even when things you don't want to come to you that you didn't really want, at least you can own it because you own your inner life. You know that that's part of your I am. So I want to get to this point. So a lot of notes here. The first thing I want to say, guys, is the, the Bible said it. Before Abraham was, I am. There's a comma there as well. Before Abraham was, I am. Jesus said this, right? He said this in the Bible and, and, and got everybody in uproar there, right? <laughs> you're, you're, you're nearly, uh, you're only 50 years old. How could you know Abraham, right? But his point was, I am, is all this awareness of being always existed. That's God. That's that awareness. That's, that's the creator. It always is, was, and will ever be, right? It's the Christ in us that is an expression of that divinity, expression of God, right, in his image. But before Abraham was, comma, I am. This is what we want to master, that inner abundance. Master that I am, and then you've mastered life. You've mastered, life becomes just a nonstop uh, uh, amusement park, right? Because that's really what you want to master. It's the law of being, it was all, and the law of being is, is, is eternal. It's always been there. We get see, preoccupied in this physical world with things that just don't matter and not are going to be around. Guys, when we make our transition, none of it matters. All this banging out and fighting and arguing and competing over things and trying to be right and, and acquiring stuff and then selling things. We're just moving things around our whole life, right? When really we should be focused on the inside and just enjoy it. Enjoy the stuff, sure, but don't get, take it all so serious. We're just moving stuff around that we're not going to take with us. So express all that I believe myself to be. So that's what the law of being is. We're part of that I am that always was, is, and will ever be before Abraham was, comma, I am. And we express all that you, you express all that you believe yourself to be. That Christ in you, you resurrect all that you uh, choose to be, all that you believe yourself to be. You're unlimited. It's unlimited. That Christ in you is wholly unlimited. We limit it by, by our, our bogus 
fears, doubts, and limitations that come into our mind, right? Those aren't real. Those are manifestations, right? So, so if you say, I am fearful or I am limited, those are manifestations. That, that is your state of being. That's what you're creating. Own your inner life. It, it says it right here in Matthew 13, 12. For whoever has, for whoever has, comma, to him more shall be given and he will have abundance. Whoever has, has what? Has that I am awareness. That's what that's talking about, guys. It's not talking about riches and, and, and money and gold and all that. It's not talking about that. It's talking about whoever, for whoever has, has that I am awareness, is aware that you can, that you can, uh, that you can express yourself in unlimited ways with that I am, that Christ in you. To him more shall be given and he will have abundance. That's the ultimate abundance. That's what you want to master. Yeah, sure, you, you can keep score by, by acquiring stuff, but that, that stuff won't even matter when you acquire this. This is the real stuff, right? This is the promised land right here, guys. For whoever has karma to him, more shall be given, and he will have abundance. It says it right here in Matthew 13, 12. Never-ending ab abundance, guys, really. Never-ending abundance of that which I am aware of being. So the abundance that I am is never-ending. It's unlimited. That Christ in you is unlimited. That I am is unlimited, right? It's a never-ending abundance. You have a never-ending abundance of that which I am aware of being. So we, anything you put after I am, it, it's unlimited. Do you know what this means? <laughs> it's incredible, really. This, this is it. This is, what it, this is what you want to master, right? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make, uh, make you free. John 8, 32, Jesus said this. What's the truth? The truth is that, that it, the Christ in you is, is, a, is a manifestation of that awareness. The Christ in you is that, is, is that ability to, is that I amness. It's your awareness of being, of being is God. Your awareness of that I am is God. And you can be anything. That's what Jesus is saying. That's what, that's what sets you through, through. That's real abundance, right? Know your awareness of being God. Become aware of being that which you desire. That's it, guys. That's the message. Know your awareness of being is God. Become aware of being that which you desire to be. So of that I am, what do you want? What do you desire? because it's abundance. Once you have that, right? Once you have that abundance, once you accept that as abundance, then, the, then it's the law of abundance. Things just should come to you, will be coming to you if you truly feel that way. And you should, and you ought to. It's not the stuff. You, you never do. It doesn't matter how much money or how much stuff you have, you're never gonna feel real abundance unless you feel this. This is real abundance. All that other stuff, will come to you, it, it, but that's so secondary. And not even, and secondary is being nice. Right? This is real abundance. For whoever has, comma, to him more shall be given, and he will have abundance. That, and that has, whoever has, it's that I am, guys. You have that. You have that. You are that. It's already done. Yeah. It's all the trying that we put over. It's all the resistance and the trying and the efforts. And we're trying, you know, there, there's so many teachers out there teaching you how to meditate, teaching you how to, teaching you to make lists of things and teaching you how to, how to use the law of attraction or, or the law of abundance or, or the universal laws. It's the law of being that you want to master. Once you last the law of being, all that other stuff becomes a cakewalk. I promise you. Because that, because remember, we attract who we are. So really, the fundamental law behind it all is the law of being. It is the only law. I am. Before Abraham was, I am. It always was there. God has always been there for us, right? Nudging us along, waiting for that, for that, for that Christ in us to, to resurrect on what we want. 
right? We get to choose, guys. This is the real power. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, it was a lot. A lot. There's a lot here. But I will say, I want to point out one more thing as I look at uh, this, that when you say you will be healthy or I will be healthy, when you use I am, it will be. I, I will be healthy. That's like saying I am not healthy. I will be rich. That's like saying I am not rich. I will be in love. That's saying to, to, to that awareness that I am not in love. And, that, and so it's impossible to be, get there by saying I will be. It gets back to this future that we've been talking about, that future tense. You got to be it. That's just like saying not. When you say I will be abundant, it's like saying I'm not abundant. Because you're not. You're saying you will be. When you say I will be healthy, you're saying I am not healthy. And you're using the powerful I am to say you're not healthy. That is the issue. You got to say I am. And believe it and know it. Because of the law of being, because you know I am was before Abraham, it, guys, it's been written for 2,000 years. It's all over ancient scripts and texts and books. Spiritual teachers are saying it now, right? And they're all, you know, I, I get it. They all want to give you methods. But really, it's the I am in you, right? That's why a lot of times um, the things that you learn don't work is because you're following someone else's dis that's distinct to them, that works for them. You've got to go what works for you. And only your I am, only that divinity in can tell you. So we can lay out structures as spiritual guides and, 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 and teachers, but really it's you that has to tap into that. The door, you know, guys, it, it, it's knocking on the door. I am the door, right? I am the way. Jesus said it, right? I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am the light, right? It's not knowing the light, it's being the light. It's not knowing the truth. It's I am the truth. It's not knowing the way. It's I am the way. Do you see the difference? There's a big difference there, guys, right? That's how you move to, to mastering abundance. It's not knowing enlightenment. It's, it's being enlightened. It's being light. It's not knowing the truth. It's being the truth. Knowing that you are the truth. You are that I am. Big difference there, guys, right? And so, and it's not knowing love, it's being love. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, we'll talk more about this. This is, this is all I have for now. It's a lot. We're going to hit some more of this. This is fun. Love this stuff. Hope you do too. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, hit the subscription button. It's me, with a caricature of me with a headset. And hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And comment and share the videos. That's how we get our message out. Yeah? This is Tom Kieran with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.